Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will see how to run the dedicated exchange hybrid application. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we see our exchange admin center, we have already configured the hybrid exchange. You can see few of the mailboxes are on Office 365 and rest of the mailboxes are on the on-premises. We have already run the hybrid configuration wizard here. So first of all, let's check the prerequisites for that. I will open the exchange management shell and will check for the version. Here you can see it is 15.2.017 and if we confirm it with the build number here, you can see we are here. This is the version we have and this is needed to run this script. So in order to download the script, we can download it from here like configure exchange hybrid application. We can just click on this script and it will be downloaded. And if you see the details here, uh, it has a different mode where you can run the script. This is a full configure hybrid application mode. This is update certificate mode and this is the reset first party service principle key credential. And this mode is for the application deletion. I have already downloaded that script and kept that script inside the script folder inside my C drive. Here you can see the script. So let me close this and let's first of all let's check the port connectivity and we can run this command let our exchange can connect with the port 443 or not. Here you can see the TCP test succeeded true and let's check with the graph.microsoft.com as well and it is also true. So our prerequisites are proper in place. So if I go to the script folder and this is the script. If I try to run this script normally here we have five options. You can see create application, update certificate, enable exchange hybrid application, override, configure target sharing EPR and configure auth server. If you run it in a fully configured exchange hybrid application, it will do the needful. Here I am cancelling it by pressing the L no to all. If you have already run the script and you just want to update the certificate, you can run in this way like put the script and then update certificate. It will update the certificate. And if you want to delete the application, we can run in this mode like delete application mode and it will delete the application. And the another mode, if you want to clear the certificate, we can run in this mode reset first party service principle key credential. So right now we want to run it in a fully configured exchange hybrid application mode because for most customer all in one configuration mode is recommended way to configure this feature. And to use this mode, run the script on a mailbox server with the outbound connectivity, which we have just checked. And by default, this script run against the Microsoft 365 worldwide cloud. And if your Microsoft 365 tenant is in a different cloud, you can use the Azure environment parameter to set it in according to your way. So let's try to run it in a fully configured exchange hybrid application. For that, I will have to use this switch fully configured exchange hybrid application and I will hit enter. Now here you can see all these are selected. It will create the application. It will update the certificate and it will enable the exchange hybrid application override. It will configure the target sharing EPR and it will also configure the auth server. So let me press A for yes to all and I will hit enter. It will ask to authenticate. I will just authenticate it. Authentication completed and it is started it. So the script ran successfully. You can see the performing operation create application. It created application already exist. Updating the certificate performing configure auth server and here it says we did not find auth server script can't continue. This is because I am using a developer edition and it has some limitation to this. That's why it's not configuring that else once you configure that it will create the auth server as well. Once you ran this script then you have to run the reset first party service principle key credential as well. So for that we will run this script. This is the script to clean up the certificate and I will hit enter. The script is ran successfully you need to clean the certificate again it's asking to authorize i will click and you can see the service principle for the first party application was processed successfully so this is the way you can run the script and the recommended way is to run the fully configure exchange hybrid application mode so that it can configure everything for you and once you run that fully configure exchange hybrid application mode after that you have to clean up the certificate by running the reset first party service principle key credential this is the way you can configure your dedicated exchange hybrid application i hope the video was useful let's meet in a next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe 
and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.